Hey guys, this is part two on our bottle calf series, Medicine. Um, I'm going to start this video by telling you, first and foremost, find a good vet. Um, uh, get a working relationship with your vet, a good working relationship with your vet. Um, when you're dealing with large livestock, horses, cows, um, even goats and sheep, vets don't want to make uh, a big trip out to the farm all the time unless they're absolutely needed. Farmers have for generations been treating their livestock themselves, but um, farmers, all farmers are not licensed veterinarians and so they can't always get the medicine that they need. So they have to get it from a vet. So number one, have a good relationship with your local vet. All right, so let's start out with things that you have in your house. So I think uh, outside of having a good relationship with your vet, a thermometer. Okay, so this is my thermometer in the house. We had one in the barn for a long time, and then it stopped working because I left it out in the barn during the heat, uh, the heat of Texas summers, so um, I threw it away. But this is the one from my house. Once it goes out to the barn, it doesn't come back in the house. You use a regular thermometer just like you would um, for people, but it needs to go in the rectum to get a good reading. Calves can be, um, cattle, normal is around 101 degrees. So um, when you take the temperature of your calf, that's what it needs to be, about 101 degrees. A degree higher or lower is not that big of a deal, but whenever you're going two to three degrees higher or lower or even more so on either side of that, then you have a problem. The, the temperature is a good, way to determine if you're dealing with an infection or um, just, it's just, uh, or you're dealing with something symptomatic like a scours, so, or a bellyache. That's not necessarily related to an infection. Okay, so a thermometer. For bottle calves, the next thing I believe you really need to have on hand is Pepto-Bismol. A lot of people have this at their house, and if you don't have it at your house, you can get it from CVS, you can get it from Walmart, you can even get it from the gas station. They come in smaller bottles. Um, Pepto-Bismol, it's great. Oftentimes, calves will get tummy aches, and this Pepto-Bismol really helps relieve that. The tummy ache, we don't, I'm saying you don't know what the tummy ache is for, but whenever you have a calf that doesn't feel good because their belly's hurting, they don't want to eat, they don't want to drink, they don't want to get up and move around, they don't want to do anything. So let's make them feel better first. So give them some Pepto-Bismol to help coat the tummy and get the tummy feeling better and then move from there. If you're wanting to go industrial, this is Kaopectate. This is the active ingredient in Pepto-Bismol. Most people don't need a gallon, but when we were raising veal calves, I had a gallon on hand and I still have a lot of this left. See, we actually use it when we've had two calves, Jersey steers in the last two years bloat. Um, and we caught it early and we gave them Pepto-Bismol and that helped them start moving around because it made them feel better. Once they started moving, they got rid of the bloat. There we go. So that's my little Pepto-Bismol story that, that had nothing to do with bottle calves, but Pepto-Bismol have it on hand. Okay. I'm going to add this right now. This is a big giant syringe. There's no needle that goes in front of it, but this is great for um, drenching kaopectate or Pepto-Bismol down a calf. So big syringes are nice. All right, my next on the list, this is Formula 911. Um, this is electrolytes. There are so many different kinds out there. Resorb is another very um, popular one. If you are in a pinch, Gatorade or Pedialyte works really, really well. Same type of thing. They're electrolytes. You can get electrolytes for calves at the feed store at Tractor Supply or Atwoods. Um, you can even get it at your vet's office, but really it's probably going to be cheaper if you just go to Tractor Supply. Um, and again, if you don't have anything and you need it in a pinch, um, you can make your own at home. But like I said, Pedialyte or Gatorade, Powerade even, you know, any of those electrolyte drinks will work. But that's to have on hand. Um, another thing you probably have at home, baking soda or sodium bicarbonate, same, same thing. Uh, this is my barn one that we keep out in the barn. I put it out free choice in the spring to keep cows and calves from bloating on fresh grass, new spring grass. I also keep it out when I have major pregnant mamas. 
um, because if you've ever had a baby, you know how bad heartburn is that last trimester. So, you know, I can sympathize with that. And we put baking soda out. Um, baking soda, we do leave out free choice for baby calves. They like to chew on everything and lick on everything. And this is um, when they know what it is and they know how it helps them. It um, Having it out free choice helps keep their rumen and everything in their tummy um, balanced. So this is a buffer. And this is something that you need to have on hand. Also, this is also a buffer. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. If it doesn't have the mother, it's just a cooking agent. <laughs> so get it with the mother. We put this in water. Um, we don't put it in every day, but we put it in maybe every other day. Depends on how, how fast they're drinking it. Just a little bit, and we have 100-gallon troughs. So maybe two tablespoons in a 100-gallon trough. We do put this in the water for the calves. Okay, so those are the things that you probably have at your house. If you don't, you can get them at the grocery store. Um with the exception of maybe that big syringe. Okay, so the next thing that you could probably get up at Tractor Supply is Corid. We spoke a little bit, I've spoke a little bit about um, Coccidia in the milk video. If you choose to get a non-medicated milk replacer, um, I would probably have this on hand. Um, if not, if you don't wanna have it on hand, that's fine. Just know where you can get it if you need it. Um, like I said, Tractor Supply Atwoods. Your vet will carry something like this too. But Cora, this is um, a standard coccidia, coccidia um, treatment. This will go in their water, but it has to be specific. Like that water has to be the only thing that the calf is drinking or the calves are drinking. And it's really hard to dose it out. So sometimes I know people that will drench this, um, but I would always read the label and stay on label until you talk to your vet before you go off label. Okay, so now let's talk about the stuff you get from your vet. This is Prevail, but um, it's just a, an off-brand banamine. Um, the, this is kind of like your Tylenol. Um, it's a fever reducer. It's a pain reliever. Banamine or Prevail or any of the off-brands of those will work. Um, always read the label for dosing instructions. And I always keep these on hand. They do have a long shelf life. And even when they're expired, they still continue to work just like your um, everything in your medicine cabinet. Um, but definitely uh, get a good relationship with your vet and keep this on hand. It, you can use it across the board for any animal. So we've actually treated our dogs with banamine as well whenever they had a fever. So um, this is really, really good. Um, whenever you take a temperature on a bottle-fed calf, um, if their fever's high, give them banamine immediately because if they're not feeling good, they're not going to want to eat. They're not going to want to get up and move around. And oftentimes that will make them go down faster than anything else, just them not wanting to go anywhere or, or consume food. So banamine. Okay. Also syringes. These are three, three CC syringes. This has mm, a little bit left in it some stuff in it, but um, a three milliliter syringe or a three cc syringe will do you for the calves. Um, the needles are 20 gauge, one inch needles. Um, you can go a little bigger gauge, like an 18 gauge. You can go a shorter needle, like a half inch. Um, but I would always keep something like this on hand at, um, for young calves and even goats. If you, once you start to get into the bigger animals, you need to get bigger syringes. And for the bigger animals, I like the shorter needles. But um, but this is pretty standard for baby caps. And this is a bottle cap video. So, 3cc syringe with a 20 gauge, 1 inch needle. Okay. My antibiotic of choice. Yeah, where I'm going to talk about antibiotics. Draxin 25. Well, actually, I really like Draxin. But whenever we had young calves, we went for Draxin 25. Draxin is a super, super, super potent antibiotic. Um, it is a one and done and we've always had success with it. We've never treated an animal with Draxin and not had them recover. We started buying Draxin 25 because we we had the majority of what we had were, were bottle caps um, or veal caps at the time. Um, once we gave them antibiotic, they were no longer uh, in our veal program, but we would grow them out. We actually um, just put one to the butcher last summer. Um, because he ended up getting pneumonia. We treated with Draxin 25 um, twice, um, once when he was young, and then once again, when, once he got a little older, he got, um, he got pneumonia again. 
So, um, but he was no longer in the veal program because he was treated with antibiotic, but we um, withheld. Um, there was a withdrawal period, but it was long gone out of his system. It was like a year later by the time we sent him to the butcher. So, but Draxin is a fantastic antibiotic and Draxin is very expensive and you can only get it from your vet. So if you have bottle calves, Draxin 25 is like the watered down version. Um, there, it needs, the dosage is higher, but it's not as expensive. So we vote, we went with Draxin 25, but Draxin is my favorite because I don't like sticking them over and over and over again for three days or five days or, um, for some of the, uh, less potent antibiotics. Some other antibiotics you can get from your vet, LA-300 or LA-200. LA stands for long acting, and that means it lasts a long time. Um, you have things like um, Exceed, and that's a really good one. I would say that that's probably my next one after Draxin. Um, Exceed, you can give to milking animals and uh, pregnant animals. <laughs> you can't do that with Draxin. Um, well, you can, but there's no milk withholding period because you just have to dump it. They haven't tested that yet. But we're talking about bottle caps. So Draxin, you can go with Exceed. You can go with um, LA-200 or LA-300. I would stay away from penicillin unless you just can't get anything else. Penicillin has its place in um, livestock, but when you're looking at bottle calves, I just feel like it's a little bit of a waste of time, unless they have specific issues that they're dealing with. Um, okay, I have one more thing. I'm gonna pause this video because I gotta go get it. Okay, I'm back. So the last thing I'm going to tell you to have on hand for your bottle calves is called Enforce 3. It is a pneumonia vaccine. Now, if you are not in Texas, if you are in a place that has four seasons and you know exactly the kind of weather you're going to get, then you can go ahead and cut this video off and be done. But this is not how it works in Texas. In Texas, it's always hot in the summer from June to September. Um, and it's always really, really hot um, starting in July. And that's the only time we know exactly what the weather's going to do. Any other time, it could be so roller coaster and up and down. And oftentimes, our calves get pneumonia because of it. So um, the one calf that we ended up treating with Draxin a while back, um, what, three years ago now, he, um, he was vaccinated with Enforce, but he ended up getting pneumonia anyway. Um, but our, um, our rate on pneumonia prevention is really, really good using Enforce. So you have this dilutant, you've got the cake that's inside of here, you mix them together and put half of it up one nostril and squirt the other half up the other nostril. You're going to need a syringe and a needle to do this, but Enforce 3, you have to get it from your vet but it's awesome for um, pneumonia prevention in bottle calves. And I say more so bottle calves than any other because these bottle calves don't have their mamas to um, snuggle with them or to tell them to go lay in the shade or get out in the sun or come eat because you're hungry. Um, so we like to take all the measures we can. Hopefully this helped. Um, keep an eye out for our next videos on shelter and um, feed and water and things like that. So you guys have a good day. Bye.